So in this video, we're going to show the replacement of the outer fork strap on the Eurobin 1210. That's this component part here. The component parts are the fork strap itself, the blocks which sit in the outer sections and the center, and the base lock and base pin. The special tools required are a special tool for removing the base lock and the, and the base pin and also a standard mallet. To remove the pins we need to turn the Eurobin over. Then taking the special tool the first hit will remove the pin from the centre, the lock pin. The second hit removes the base lock. The same process is carried out on each locking position and all the parts are now underneath the Eurobin and we'll collect those for refitting. The fork strap then is simply removed by lifting it up and ensuring that the blocks remain in the base of the Eurobin. So we take our new part, position it in place, and now we're going to turn the Eurobin back over, collecting the parts for refitting. To refit the base lock, simply offer it up, put it into place, ensure that it's square in the hole and one hit with the mallet, and then the lock pin into the centre, again one hit with the mallet, and repeat the process for each location. And that's the new fork strap fitted. Okay, here we're going to show the replacement of the center fork strap on the Eurobin 1210. So this is the center fork strap. This only has blocks in the two outer locations, not in the center. To remove the fork strap, <coughs> we have to remove the locking pin, of which there are three inside, and we have to turn the Eurobin over to get access to them. We then take the special tool for removing the pins together with a mallet. The first hit will remove the lock pin from the center of the, of the base lock and the second hit will remove the base lock itself. Repeat the process in each location and then the fork strap can be removed. We take our new fork strap, ensure that the blocks are fitted correctly into the base of the Eurobin. And fit the new fork strap in place. The beauty about having the bin upside down like this is all of the component parts are now contained underneath so I can recover those as I, re as I turn the bin back over. So I should find three base locks which I'm just going to pop inside and three base pins. Put the bin back on its feet and then we're going to refit the base locks and the base pins from inside 
Take the base lock, position it squarely into its hole, one hit with the mallet, the same with the pin into the centre of the base lock and that's now secure in place. Repeat that process for each location. And that's the new fork strap fitted and in place.